Hey everyone, it's been two weeks since CES concluded and I still cannot yank, get rid of, forget about two specific products that came out of CES 2024 this year. One of them, thank goodness, is floating around in my swimming pool right now. Be sure to check back on yankodesign.com for my videos and everything I have to say about it. But before that, my name is Vincent Nguyen, editor at large for Yanko Design. Welcome to my Friday episode of what's great in the world of tech. And today, what's really great is the Moonwalker X by Shift Robotic. My colleague Sarang and I got to try it out and what can we say? We walked away really impressed, but unfortunately we didn't get to walk away with the Moonwalker X. Uh, we have to give it back, unfortunately. So what is the Moonwalker X? Let's take a look at the, the clip that the company put out and then we'll talk more about it. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the idea behind Moonwalker X is essentially allowing you, whether you're wearing it in a work environment or just about out and about in around town or when you're traveling, the new Moonwalker X weigh about three and a half pounds versus the last gen, which is still on sale for about 1400 bucks at 5.2 pounds. So yeah, they're pretty heavy and I got a chance to try both of them on. Um, you're probably wondering, wow, how did Ro uh, Shift Robotics drop the weight down by almost two pounds? Well, first of all, they got rid of four wheels. So it used to be 10 and now it's six. So you notice how the workers have a wider stride. So with Moonwalker or what Shift Robotics did was they, there are brushless motors inside each of these um, Moonwalkers. And what they've done is quite brilliant because they've integrated what we know as um, a way to measure inertia I guess it's called inertia measurement unit, IMU for instance. So it, it, it's, a, it's a way for the moonwalker to know the inertia of whether you're pressing down and up hard. Um, so basically it knows where it is relative to the space around it, especially when it's paired with the second one, the left and the right, they're essentially talking to each other via Bluetooth. What it does is it allows them to know where, how far apart they are. So if you wanna walk faster, your strides are farther apart. You push down harder as you're walking, so therefore you're gonna be moving faster with probably a max speed of about seven miles per hour. Now you're, pro you're thinking, what if I'm, I would just wanna walk at a normal pace or slower pace? then you just walk with a, a slower stride or a shorter stride, if you will. So let's watch that again. Uh, when we um, watch the grass how this to, worker uh, to study local motions came and to Carnegie Mellon's the stairs. Role. Okay, let's watch this here. You see how he kind of basically, what he did was he narrowed down his steps and then it, essentially slowed down. And if you look here, you see how he twisted the right heel inward. That's essentially put it into shift mode. I mean, that's just so brilliant to play on words like that. Now, if you wanted to stop, you would just, I guess, let me see here. Did he do that here before he came up? Yep, so if you watch this clip here, as he's slowing down, he lifted the right heel up to put it into walking mode. And so it locks the motor, allowing you to 
do what he's doing, which is probably one of the hardest thing, hardest thing to do is to wear. I mean, imagine if these were skates and you're trying to go up the steps. Oh no, that's not going to happen. You're going to fall and you're behind. But in this case, as you can see here, there's no interruption to workflow whatsoever. And then twist the right heel again, and he's off. It's really amazing. So when the when you have both of them on, they communicate via Bluetooth. According to the CEO and founder Junji, he said he mentioned that it's about a hundred times times or more per second as they're communicating back and forth with each other. While I was at CES, I had a chance to meet with all the team members, including the CEO, but more importantly, um, Bob Vickery. He's the, he's the global head of business development for Shift Robotics. And I asked him, what's the most important thing to know or for us to communicate to our viewers and readership about Moonwalker or Moonwalker X. And he said that safety, there are three things. The first thing is safety. Second thing is safety. And you guessed it. Third thing is also safety. During my trial at CS, I tried a number of ways to see if I can push myself into accidentally falling or having it slip. I mean, granted, we were on carpet. And we'll look at that clip in a second. Um, but there's no chance of that happening because of Shift OS's AI, it understands what is happening all the time and it's gonna prevent you from hurting yourself or allowing anything to accidentally happen. Whether you're working in a working environment in the factory or you're cruising along um, at a convention hall, in a convention hall like at CES. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump in and look at my video and Sarang's video really quick here. Okay, so we'll just start off with a quick clip of me using the Moonwalker X just in walking mode. It's not even turned on. So I'm just walking casually with them just to get a feel for it uh, alongside with Yuji, which is the, um, the CEO and founder of Shift Robotic. And now he's going to walk me through how to get into shift mode and you know being my first time trying it out i kind of didn't know how to do it so eventually i figured that it's supposed to be yeah you lift and then you kick inward and then the light turns green white means that it's not on and then you shift into the assisted walking mode here we go we're off and immediately I felt natural in these. I mean, it just felt like second nature to me. You'll see in a little bit here where I started just really moving around and just having a good time. All right, so I asked Junji to race with me in, uh, in this clip and I just totally blew him away. And he's just falling behind. He was saying, oh, you're too fast, you're too fast. And then from here, um, I basically started doing figure eight and he was walking me through how to pivot your ankle in and out as you want to make a turn, but yet you still want to continue to push forward. And oh, by the way, um, you can go backward as well. It's just that for safety reasons, they have these, um, the going backward off. Otherwise I would have started doing some moonwalk with these. But unfortunately, I did not get to do that. <laughs> All right, so that's me. Let's bring up Sarang's video and um, and watch him experience the Moonwalker's X. All right, so this is Sarang. He is Yanko Designs editor in chief, and this is him experiencing Moonwalker for the first time. Obviously, he looks way more gracefully than I did. <laughs> nice. Um, obviously the man's also way more well-dressed than I am. Um, right about here, he was complaining to me that, hey, you know, it's not turned on yet. And I'm like, yeah, I know, just give it a second. You'll, you'll get there. You'll get your chance. And so it's interesting because the shoes that Strong is wearing are actually perfect for the Moonwalkers X because 
of the strap. They're lightweight, um, you know, and it's just doesn't feel heavy or bulky. Okay, so at this point, here's where Sarong is going to, oh, see how he kicked in? So natural. Now it's green. And he's going to be off here in just a second. <laughs> Not bad, right? Not bad for the first time. So you're probably thinking, you're probably thinking, wow, when am I ever going to use these? I mean, I have a scooter for that. My, my thinking on that is you can't pack a, an electric scooter with you on the plane, right? You can't do that. It's big, heavy, bulky. These new ones are going to be about seven pounds. Um, I'm thinking the range is going to be about 6.5 miles and it takes about 90 minutes to charge and it's just regular USB-C cable. So throw these in your backpack. As much as I've traveled over the last 20 plus years, I needed these like 10 years ago. Um, if you ever go through London Heathrow, New York, JFK, or you know Terminal D in Dallas, I mean the corridor is like a mile long. And if you're, I mean imagine if you're late to uh, your flight, these can be a lifesaver. At 1400 bucks, is it worth it? Well, if you're on the road four or five times a week for business, I'm pretty sure they're definitely worth the cost, right? Right? They're definitely worth the cost in my opinion. So all in all, the benefit of Moonwalkers X are 2.5 faster than your normal pace. So it gets you from, to, from point A to point B faster. The wheels are dropped the wheels are now down to six instead of ten, so it drops the weight quite a bit substantially. The reason there are six wheels is that it allows you to use these in any environment. Well, maybe sand. Sand might not work because it, it'll dig into it or at the beach. If you're at the beach, you wouldn't need one of these anyway. Um, but if you're going through Manhattan and there are potholes, cracks in the road, they will allow you to get through them with effortlessly. And especially if you got to climb uphill. I mean, you know, what's the joke back in the days? I had to walk to school 10 miles each day, uphills both ways. Well, if you had these, you wouldn't be walking. You would be walking at a faster pace, um, if you know what I mean. So there are so many benefits to these that that's why for me, um, this is one of the best um, product that came out of CS 2024. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below for more videos coming up, especially the other product that just came out at CES that's coming up with my full review on Yanko Design soon. So I'll see you there. And um, I invite you to drop a couple comments if you like these, if you hate them, if you hate my videos, uh, how I can improve them. We're going on three or four reviews, uh, three or four videos here. Just let me know what you think and how we can improve these videos for you. Maybe talk less. I don't know. Just let me know. See ya.